For the past year, four groups of teenagers have been negotiating policy. They're taking part in the Policy League, which is a negotiation competition. The Policy League is an alternative to debating. Young people are encouraged to negotiate and understand issues from other points of view. After researching their topics for a term, each team arrives armed with facts on one perspective of an issue. Here at the grand final of the Policy League, they are discussing gentrification and the investigatory powers bill. They will have to impress a team of expert judges with a range of negotiation skills. The competition runs in four stages. The first stage is a briefing. Each team briefs their coalition partner on the position they've researched. In this stage, they'll need to show they've researched their position, that they understand the broader implications of what they're discussing. Their questions must try and further understanding rather than just win an argument. And they need to show a collaborative approach. This is a negotiation, um, not a debate, after all. economy is growing, so essentially there's more money being brought into the neighbourhood. And with this, more money can be inv invested into making houses better and the neighbourhood becomes more aesthetically pleasing. The second stage is to explore the options and come up with ideas to solve whatever problem they have been given. Let's just start by finding a compromise of saying that we believe that there should be some... Here, the teams need to come up with logical ideas to solve their problem. They need to be open-minded, to show that they're listening to one another. They need to come up with a range of different options and be creative in their suggestions. By the end of this round, they should have a range of ideas to turn into policy. Um, we, should, we should make sure that the um, judge and the um, Secretary of State, um, Theresa May, we should uh, make sure that they are also willing to have their data checked and show that they are totally impartial and they don't have anyone that, um, they don't have any bias. Once they have those ideas, they enter the third stage, the development stage. Some places are more susceptible to foreign investment than others, so... Here, they need to turn those ideas into policy, so they need to test if the policies will work for everyone and where any weaknesses lie. They need to consider the options from different perspectives and negotiate which option they will recommend to the judges. Um, so, yeah, your two key, as it seems to me, key... Ideas are quite multifunctional in general. So. Just, just to put it out there, is uh, the displacement of In the final stage, the coalitions are going uh, to brief the parties. judges together. So some of the initial ideas we had was um, making, um, having rooftop gardening. They need to show that they've thought hard about the policies they're presenting. They have to clearly present several options and explain the merits and weaknesses for everything they suggest. Or like making houses there for working class people. Once um, they have recommended an overall policy, they finally about, need to show group, how they've uh, worked as a team. Um, we sort of realised that one group was sort of overtaking the other, but we combated this um, by um, focusing on particular people, asking them questions, getting them to develop. Um, and, and then once the judges have decided on each coalition's marks, these scores are added to each team's individual total. The team with the most points at the end of the year becomes the Policy League champion. Oh, come up and get your gleaming Policy League award. You should all